Hey everybody, so today I am doing a new video and I have decided that I'm going to do a little bit of like a comparison of different department stores. So some of you have been requesting for me to go into like say a Macy's, Belk, um, Dillard's, etc. So what I've decided to do is to come to South Park Mall in North Carolina. Um, this is the only mall in my area that has a Nordstrom. Um, and I'm going to check out each of the department stores at this mall. There's five. So I'm preparing myself for a lot of looking, but I've only really spent time in the Nordstrom here. And um, the Nordstrom has like a hit or miss plus size section, but I've heard that like the Dillard's and Macy's and stuff is good. So I'm going to go look. I will say South Park is in kind of a more affluent area of Charlotte. It's a nicer mall, uh, meaning that it has like upscale stores. So we'll see, but I'm excited. Now, because I'm going to go to five stores, I've decided what I'm going to do is pick my like five things at each store that I want to try on just so that I'm not in there like trying on things forever and ever. Amen. Okay. So my top five things for each store that's what I'm going to try on. I'm really excited to see um, what kind of different brands each of them carries if they have different aesthetics and I will take you along the whole way. Pretty sure the Kirby section because I see it right there is all the way over here. I can see Kirby over there too. And then they have petites on the same floor. Okay, so the first brand I'm finding is Crown and Ivy Curvy. It's very like preppy um, and beachy. Love that. This brand has lots of cute little details and it all does seem like very beachy or preppy. That's super pretty. Mm, do I want to try that on too? <clears throat> I'm only trying on five items and I've already pulled this one to try on. Alright, this crown and ivy section is really big and has bottoms and tops and all that kinds of stuff. Looks like they're highest size of the 3X. And so far the top size I've seen on pants is a size 20, but I assume they go up to 24. So the next section I see is Michael Kors. It's pretty sizable. Got this whole section. That's really cute. Look at that detail, that's so cool. I like that. None of his prints are really standing out to me so far. He gives a lot of metal details on his clothes. Now we have Rachel, Rachel Roy. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. We also have Karen Kane, who I always think is a little bit overpriced for what it is, but probably just because it's not my style. It's beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. So these brands are new to me. This one's Wonderly. It's very boho-ish. I'd grab that dress to try on. And then they have this brand called Madison, which is very like, I don't know, there's a little lot of shirt tanks. I also have then Raffaella and the Limited, and I tried on a piece from the Limited at a consignment style or thrift store the other day, and I wondered where they sold it at, so now I know you can get it at bulk. Alright guys, so I told you I was going to be wearing this jumpsuit and this one's from Old Navy. I got it for $10 when I was on sale one week. I'm wearing it at 4X and I'm wearing it with my Eloquii belt. I found a pretty good amount of cute things here from some brands I haven't tried before. So I was really excited to get things going. Um, and I'm going to share the prices that are currently online with each item. This first piece is a Crown and Ivy plus size long sleeve split neck embroidered top. It is originally $72.50 and it is currently online for $16.49, which is an awesome price. I tried it on a 3X and it did feel a little bit poofy in the actual shoulders of the piece, but I found the sleeves to be comfortable and sometimes with these non-stretch fabrics, I have a really tough time with that. However, the shirt in general fit like a little bit high up, like the neckline was cut pretty high up. The hem line was cut pretty high up. I would have liked everything to be longer on me, basically. Um, but 
I typically wear a 4X. I think this fit like a typical 3X would fit. Um, and I thought it was a really nice piece. Um, I think that it is really great priced at $16.49. That's absolutely a steal. I also tried on this Crown and Ivy embroidered scallop top. It is originally $65.50 and it's currently on sale for $32.75, but they also have a coupon where you can get it for $29.47. It says all of that on the Belk's website. I really thought the embroidery was pretty and it was a very like beachy, summery uh, top for me. I think I read it as a little bit more um, like skewed older or like more conservative than I would have liked. I think I would have liked this better if it was like an off the shoulder top. Um, and that's just a personal preference thing. But if you're looking for like high neckline pieces, then this is a great one. It was tight on the hips. Again, I'm trying it on a 3X and a non-stretch fabric. I think it fit well considering all of those things. Um, and a really pretty top. This next piece by Rachel Roy is her Liliana Fit and Flare sweater dress. I loved the color. Love the color. Tried it on a 3X. I could not find this on Bug's website, but I did find it on Macy's for $149. Rachel Roy is a pricier brand. Um, but I will say this dress like was not perfectly fitted for me. Um, I probably needed a size bigger, but in general, just the way that where it went and fit and flared out was a little bit low on my body. And so it emphasized kind of my like, low tummy roll hip area. This dress is described as a sweater dress and it's very elasticized. Um, and it's the kind of elastic size that's like, it's strong. It's going to pull back and sit tight on your body, almost feel a little bit like shapewear-ish. Um, and so I think that it's possible that over the time of wearing this, I would get highly annoyed with how um, kind of like tight feeling it is, even though it fits fine. Um, but that's just, again, another personal preference. I thought it was really pretty and I love the top portion. Like if it was just a top perfect the skirt just I don't know I don't think it fit my body the best um, but loved loved the color this next piece is by a brand I've never tried before called Wonderly it's their plus size tiered print dress originally $78 right now it's on sale for $39 and again there's a coupon you can get it even a little bit cheaper um, I did not think this was going to fit it looked a little bit like it was meant for juniors the whole brand did but it fit okay-ish. It's a little bit short on me. Um, I think whenever there's any kind of like tiered um, design that can sometimes be tough on me. But I love the, the separations between the tiers. Um, I did find some gum <laughs> in the tassel which was a little bit disturbing. But um, it was a really cute dress. And I actually liked a lot of things from this brand. Again, I tried this on in a 3X um, and I just thought the fabric was really cute and the whole, you know, vibe was really, uh, charming, just not the greatest length on me. This last piece did not fit at all. It's originally $109 and it's on sale right now for $16.49. I think someone who's a true size 24 could fit into this 3X. It's a non-stretch fabric, um, but it has a little tie at the waist and a zip on the side to get in. It was really cute, just didn't fit. Holy moly, it was hot in there. Had to come and uh, blot my face. Gonna take some tissue to go. Okay, so my trick is to always check out Leaf and BP, and then in the back they sometimes have plus size stuff, so let's see, and then we'll go to the actual plus size section. This stuff in the BP section, but how cute are these accessories? Oh my gosh. This is $52 from Topshop. Oh, sadness. I'm gonna look at that online. I got excited for a second thinking this was plus size jeans because it's a curve 360. Nope, great size. But the encore section is plus size, but we'll take this Kaz on in front of it. <sighs> nope, straight sizes. Every time I get here, the plus size section is smaller and smaller, and you have to pass all of these brands that carry plus but don't have it in store here at plus. Is this plus size? Nope when we're in the plus size section and here we are this is it guys keep in mind the belt we just came from yep that's the entire plus size section at my local Nordstrom this is why I like trunk club because they have so much plus size stuff it's cute but dang if you can't try it on in person looks like they have some lucky brand I do think that's pretty cute I love the little threading on here 
Let's see if they have that in the 3X. Yep. Okay. Lift and tuck NYDJ. Don't feel like putting on jeans today. Sorry, guys. Sometimes jeans just feel like torture. I hope I can even find five things to try on that I like here. Because I'm not feeling any of this. Okay, some Vince Camuto. I like the detailing on that. It's like an open kind of vest top. This is a sparky little dress. I'll try this one on. Here's a shirt version of the shorts I got in my trunk club. Okay, so they have a decent section of cas on, but like, <sighs> it's looking pretty sad otherwise, guys. Sales clerk just alerted me to this sales section. Um, so there is a little bit more than I thought there was, but it's kind of like, that's where I was at. This is where I'm at now. It's just a little bit removed. Alright, so this first piece is a Nick and Zoe Sightseer cardigan. Um, this was a really cute and soft cardigan um, and kind of um, a multicolored fabric, which was mostly a taupe and a like melon shade. Um, I really liked the fringe detail on the outside of this cardigan. When I went and looked this up on Nordstrom's website, I noticed that they have a lot of cardigans with that detail. Um, but Nick and Zoe is an expensive brand. This cardigan is $148. And so while it was cute, it was not something I was going to buy. So I did try on a couple Caslon items. And typically I wear a 4X in Caslon. So these ones were all 3X and they didn't fit the best. This one's their pin tucked floral top. It had a tie in the back. It's originally $59, but right now $35.40 online. This was just okay. It felt a little bit like just too much for summer. This next item is from Lucky Brand, and it's their embroidered shirt. It's $79.50. I tried it on in a 3X, um, and it was a little bit tight on the arms, but I thought it would be really cute, um, kind of like tied up as a little like summer tee. Uh, I don't know that I think it was like the best just laying long, but I thought this was really cute, and I love the embroidered detail. I thought it was um, like a simple chambray, but very sweet with those little blossoms. And I think this would fit someone who's like a size 24 perfectly fine um, because I'm wearing it in a size 26, 28. All right, this next item I've actually tried on before in a trunk club in a striped version. Uh, this one is Caslon's t-shirt dress. It's on sale right now for $29 up to 35 depending on what color you pick. Uh, I definitely would need a 4X. I do actually like it in a solid color. I had tried it on in a stripe. Um, so I would consider getting this in a solid color but uh, definitely would need to get it in a 4X because it just runs a little bit too bodycon and too short on me in a 3X. But um, yeah, very comfortable. Love the sleeve length on it. I even like the little notch on the side of the dress. This Caslon piece is their tiered smocked maxi dress. It's $79 and it comes in this like multicolored fabric that has um, striping of a metallic thread throughout it. The top of it is smocked and so it's very comfortable on top and then it has these tiers and what I liked about the tiers at the very top of the tier each one of those is kind of um what's the word for it frayed and so it's like you know it's just a soft little nice detail there um between each tier I would need a 4x in this but I also just feel like these muted colors aren't the best on my skin tone I feel like it kind of washes me out and so uh, this was not tempting to me, uh, but I was glad to find at least some dresses to try on at Nordstrom since they had such little stock. Well, um, I'm two store downs and my hair is falling apart. It's hot. It's so hot outside. Anyways, uh, so far I've gone to Belk and I've gone to Nordstrom. Belk um, exceeded expectations. They had a huge plus size section. Lots of brands found my sizes i will say i did not see above a size 22 bottoms nordstrom in one way they met expectations so i've been to this nordstrom a lot i know it's not great um and you guys know i love actual nordstrom brand like they go up to a size 4x and a bunch of stuff but in store like barely had any 3x's definitely did not have any 4x's really sparse section of clothing um so bummer and sometimes i can find bp and stuff over there but I could not today so so anyways hydrating got myself a strawberry lemonade I think next we're gonna go to Neiman Marcus 
never shopped at Neiman Marcus before, not even online. So I really have no expectations. Let's go see how it is. No one stopping me now. I think I realize why I've never shopped here because I'm not bougie enough for this stuff. So I just asked them if they had plus sizes in store and the answer is no. So it's only online. So if they don't want my fat body in the store, I'm getting the hell out. Eek. I feel like I need to like wash the yuck off of me. Uh, I've never been in a store that made me feel that uncomfortable. It was just very obviously all white, thin women. I felt very unwelcome, like nobody looked like me. Um, and then I found out I wasn't welcome. I mean, how do you guys feel about that? Whenever you go into a store that carries plus size and they have none of it in store, and I can expect it with like a small store, but a big department store, you could just tell it was a very fancy store with things that cost a lot of money and the fat customer was not invited in. Look at beautiful stars. Okay, so looks like for Macy's, the plus size section is in this corner. It looks like a pretty big corner. Um, is this plus? Nope. We'll see where it starts. This section has seen better days. <laughs> I don't know if the rest of the store is like this or not. Yeah. This Macy's seems generally to have their plus size section pretty like bad. I mean, just, just look, it's everywhere you look, it looks bad. But I've been at Macy's that have nice plus size sections. That's kind of cute. Not seeing anything that's catching my eye yet. It doesn't seem to be too organized by brand and I liked that about Belk Bar 3. I've never heard of that brand. That's cute though. Guys, it's so disorganized. It's like tripping me out. Oh my goodness. Wow. So I'm not gonna lie, I was a little horrified when I went into the dressing room and saw this before I even got into the different rooms. Each room also had a bunch of leftover clothes. Like I said, this place was a disaster. The first item I tried on was the INC plus size off the shoulder blouse. Um, this is originally $79.50 and it's online for $49.70. I tried on a 4X and I was very happy to find a bunch of 4Xs in store in this brand. Uh, I prefer the sleeve pushed up at the elbow and I thought it was kind of like a very moody floral. This would be really cute with black jeggings and some earrings for like a romantic dinner out. Um, and I like the fact that the off the shoulder felt like it was going to stay off the shoulder. I like the little frilly detail at the top of the, st of the shirt. And yeah, I thought it was really cute. This next one is also INC. I tried it on in a 4X as well. It's a surplus top. It has these little polka dots on it that are threads that are sticking out. I found the fit to be a little odd, especially at the neckline. So it has this like collar top, but it's all sewn. And so it's not like sitting as your chest would naturally want it to sit. And I just didn't think it looked that great, um, but it was definitely roomy and comfortable. This one is originally $79.50 and currently it's online for $59.63. I felt like it wasn't the great. It's like I wouldn't pay more than $20 for this um, just because the fabric was kind of cheap. This next top is from the brand Style & Co. I also tried this in a 3X. It's originally $69.50 and it's on sale for $34.75. This one is their embroidered chambray peasant top and it had a little bit more of like a southwestern uh, vibe to it with the geometrical embroidery. Uh, I thought it was cute. It fit okay decently for a 3X. It fit how I expected that kind of top to fit since it has no stretch. The buttons are interior so you're not going to see them from the outside. Um, and I thought it was a really pretty outfit. Obviously I've been kind of going towards these little like tassel detailed tops. This next one is another INC brand top. I can't remember, if I, I think I tried this one on a 4X. It's their ruffle sleeve top. Um, it's originally $59.50 on sale for $29.75. This is the first top I tried on at Macy's that I felt like fit me well, looked nice on me. Um, I tried on a lot of stuff that I did not feel like looked very good on me. And I felt like this top did look nice and I was excited about that. It was very comfortable and soft. Um, I'd be interested in this top in this color and in some other colors as well. 
The last piece I tried on was another IMC uh, dress. It's their faux wrap maxi dress. I tried this on in a size 3X. I did not have this one in a 4X in the store. Originally $109 on sale for $82.13 online. Um, I felt like this dress was comfortable. I tried it on over my jumpsuit, so it's a little bit lumpy and stuff. Um, I do think the 4X would fit me better, although the bust might have been too big if I had gone up to a 4X. I just feel like it's kind of boring. I've seen black and white striped dresses that are cuter. It's just okay. Um, I think the price is high. Um, and that's just because it's not like meeting my personal like aesthetic really, but it fit well enough. Okay guys, so at Macy's I had to go, I found this like backstage at Macy's section which was kind of like a TJ Maxx and I had to buy a hair bow because I was just like, nope, no more. For 98 cents I got these BB hair bows, so definitely rocking this one soon. I use this one. I used the white like yeah. I use that. I'm trying to help myself. I also got this. Misted my face a little bit because I'm struggling. But um pro tip, pro tip that I learned today. Don't go try on clothes while wearing a jumpsuit. You will hate your life very quickly. Especially if you're like me and you go and try on a bunch of stuff in one day. Alright. Macy's gave me a little bit of anxiety. It was so bad. And honestly, all the clothing sections looked like that. As I went away, I could see like lots of it. Petite section looked like that. Um, but we have one last place to go and that's Dillard's. So let's head on in. Not to hold me down, feel Guys, this has been like an emotional journey. Started really high, dropped very down low. Now I'm back up. This is a big section and it looks very clean and well organized. I'm excited to look around. Ooh, PJs. Oh, PJs. So cute. So cute. Not something I'd wear to sleep in, but very cute. That'd be cute over like a swimsuit. I love they have um, sleep clothes. Cute. Ooh, those are soft. This is Sleep Sense Woman, 13.30. Here we go. Kind of into it, not gonna lie. Oh yeah. How weird am I to like this? I'm gonna try it on anyways. Okay, looks like they have a bunch of NYDJ jeans. Pull on ankle jeans. They have them in a couple different colors. Ugh, don't want to put on jeans. Let's see what sizes they have. Am I the only one that hates putting on jeans? All right, they have through 24, so I'm not gonna do it. I definitely need a 28. Which NYDJ does have, but they don't always carry in store. This is Moa Moa brand. Can't say it's my style. Democracy. I think I got something like that in Stitch Fix. That's really cute. Let's try this. I really wanted to call this five finds, or five plus size finds, but um, I might go over five items. Ooh, that's pretty. Is this Jessica London? Adriana Popel. I think she goes up to 22 maybe. Love that. That's so pretty. Nothing's capturing my eye yet. Kind of like this one, but not really. Just kinda. Got some Vince Camuto. This is intriguing, but it's a non-stretch fabric. So I think that'll just be too tight, but it's really pretty peach color with some sheen to it. Okay, so looks like they have like this investments section, and that's all kind of like basic type stuff. Um, and then they have this brand called IN Studio, which is a lot more like bohemian um, than I typically am. A lot of their tops come with these like necklaces, but I'm kind of liking the vibe, especially for summer. Okay, I realize this shirt is ridiculous. <laughs> like not the best coloring for me at all. Um, 
but it's cute. It's very comfortable like sleepwear. I wish this was almost like a different color scheme because I love myself some doggies. Super comfortable, it's a 3X. Fits big, sleeves are big. This is big, super comfy. Yeah. Okay, so this one's having some fit issues, but it is really cute. So the first thing is that it has this like double layer, which I didn't even realize. Um, it's tight on me, so that's why it's, well, it's like, it's tight in the arms. So it's, like, especially this arm is really tight. Um, and then also my strapless bra is like going downhill fast. It's like <sighs> tired, okay? So my chest isn't sitting up as high as it normally does. Um, and I have a shirt while I'm wearing this. But if it fit in the arm, I think it'd be really cute. It fits my left hand arm, it's not my right hand arm. Um, I love that detail. It does come with a necklace. This is a necklace. It's cute, it's comfortable. It's just too tight on my arms, but it fits my hips fine, which is nice. <sighs> Time to take the jumpsuit back off. This is obviously too small on me and too short on me, but it has some cute details. I like that sleeve detail. Actually, I'm okay with the necklace too. I like the fabric. I would just need a size up or two up. It's very short on me. And the slip is very short on me. Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't fit, but on someone smaller, it'd be really cute. Okay, so I thought this probably would be too small, and it is. Um, this is from Jones, New York. It has all see through parts with a slip underneath. A little kind of athleisure type um, neckline. It's cute. It's just too tight on me. I need to put this on next. But I'm already so hot. I might just put on the sweater. Okay, so this is super cute and comfy. Uh, I have no idea if the pants would fit. But the top does fit, and yeah, I think it's really cute. It's $40, I'm not sure if it's on sale or not. That's pretty expensive for a loungewear, but I like the color. I like those like washed out a little bit. Definitely cute. This is by the brand Jasmine and Ginger. I like it. Okay, so that was an interesting adventure. Um, when I first started out wanting to do this, I originally thought that I wanted to come to South Park to go to Nordstrom. And um, and then I thought, well, people have been asking for me to try out different department stores. It'd be a good time to do it. Well, let me just go to all five. Uh, I think I like to hurt myself. Like it's the hot, it's so hot. It's in the 90s today. I'm wearing a jumpsuit. I'm not wearing a bra with straps on it. Like what was I doing? But anyways, I managed it. I kind of got lucky unlucky in that Neiman Marcus did not have any plus sizes to try on, um, but here I am. So it was interesting because I totally knew what to expect with Nordstrom, and so I thought that the better store would probably be like Dillard's um, or Macy's, and Macy's-ish. Macy's because they have their own brands, and I'm not necessarily a fan of all the aesthetics of their brands. Like, I don't really know that I'm a fan of INC or... Um, What's the other one that they have? Alfani, like it's not like my favorite. Um, but I thought Dillard's would probably be pretty good because I've been into a few Dillard's that have very large plus size sections. But what I did not expect was Belk to rise above all of them and just have an outstanding plus size section. So, uh, definitely, at least at this location, and granted I know not all locations are created equal, not all Belks are created equal, I have a belk in my hometown that's like really small. All right, so at this location at South Park Mall in Charlotte, North Carolina, number one goes to belk. Belk was incredibly clean, organized. They had a lot of different sub brands. Each of their sub brands had a different style to it. So you could kind of pick and choose which ones fit your style. They had a good amount of stock of sizes. Um, they had so much to choose from. All of it looked really nice. They had a pretty good amount of sale items and the people working were really kind and nice and that was honestly the busiest plus size section so 
obviously uh, some other ladies have figured out that that's the place to be. Number two, I'm gonna give to Dillard's. Dillard's had a decently big plus size section and it was well organized, clean, and you could find things. It was organized by different brands. Again, you could find your aesthetic and go with that. Um, <clears throat> Dillard's did not have styles that excited me. That one brand excited me some and it was kind of a basic style, but the fit was just too small on me personally, which is fine. I'm more of a forex anyways. So, they're number two, but it was like a really nice store. They had lots of, of places, um, lots of space dedicated to it. It looked well-groomed, which is sad to say that that has to be a priority because we all know what happened at Macy's. Um, okay, so number three is going to go to Nordstrom. Nordstrom did not have a lot of selection, but again, at least it was well-organized and uh, clean. And the people there were helpful. Um, Nordstrom Plus size online, way, way better than in-store. But there are some things in store, it's just mediocre. Um, number four goes to Macy's. I've been into better Macy's, that one was not a good Macy's. Um, they didn't have great style. I kept finding the same items in different locations. Um, so like it was, it was a mess, a mess. And it made me not want to shop, just felt not taken care of, the fitting room. I mean, I actually feel bad for the people working there. That is an overabundance of clothes for that section. <sighs> but it gave me anxiety. But at least they did have plus size clothes, <clears throat> Neiman Marcus, and they had some 4Xs, which is uh, pretty awesome. And then last is Neiman Marcus. Um, when I got there, I got to the clothing line, I got to the clothing floor and I asked somebody if they had plus sizes because I saw things like Lafayette 148 or something like that. I know they have plus sizes. I saw Johnny Was or something like that. I know they have plus sizes. So I asked if they carried plus sizes in store. And she said they had a couple things that were returned, but I basically, I would need to tell her what style I wanted. And, um... She's like, unfortunate, or she said, we just carry all that stuff online. I was like, okay. And I was walking away, she goes, unfortunately. Like, I think she knew, like, oh, shit, that sounds horrible. It sounds horrible that we have all this stock, and in none of this place can we have a dedicated space to it. So, that was a bummer. Um, and again, like, there's plenty of brands that carry plus sizes but don't have them in every store, like Loft, like Anthropology, etc. But I would expect a department store to have some plus sizes in store. Um, I guess that's just an expectation. But honestly, like, I walked into that store and it's it's very clearly um, high end. There's Chanel, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, but all the workers just kind of looked at me like, why are you here? So I, I got out. Um, so yeah, uh, this showed me, like, I'm, as you know, I'm kind of an advocate of going in store and trying things out. This showed me why it can be exhausting um, for women to do that. It's really finding the one in your area that's nice, and a lot of you don't have the luxury of having multiple Belks, multiple Macy's, etc. and I'm lucky that I do. Um, but if you can, if there's different stores in like 20, 30 minutes of you, try to find which one's your better one, because it might mean going to that town for Belk and this town for Macy's so you can try things on and have access to it, because it is hard to upfront your money and just buy something. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed going to each store with me and seeing what caught my eye. Um, let me know what you think of this kind of video in the comments. I enjoyed it, making it, but like, I'm glad I'm sitting and I'm glad I'm about to like go home. And I'm glad about to take this off and I'm glad, I'm glad it's done. <laughs> it was a lot. Um, but anyways, I will talk to you later. Bye.